How to make 2D shapes look 3D using one point perspective. Today we'll be exploring shape and form. Shape is an element of art and so is form. The first thing that we're going to do is write our name and our teacher's name on the back. Now flip that paper like a pancake. Watcha. Now I'm going to be using a marker, but you won't be using a marker. You'll be using a pencil. Why do we use a pencil instead of a marker? That's right, so we can erase. You'll also need a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, you can use a flat edge of an envelope or a piece of paper. You're going to want your shape dictionary. And you'll notice I also have something to color with. Whatever you want, colored pencils, markers. Choose a shape from your shape dictionary. I'm starting off with a square. I'm going to choose my second shape. Mm, check. You're not actually going to write, but I wanted to so you could get the idea. I'm going to choose an oval next. So you can put your shapes all over your paper wherever you'd like. Keep in mind our shapes right now are two dimensional, which means that they appear flat. There is no form. I'm drawing an organic shape, which has soft edges, a triangle. Now I'm gonna draw a pentagon. A pentagon has five sides. It kind of looks like a triangle at the top with angled lines coming down and a flat bottom. Plain old circle, another square, A semicircle, that's a partitioned shape, which means we've cut it in half, a heart, and now we're good to go. Now I have all my awesome shapes, and in the middle I'm gonna put one dot. Whoop. Now all of our lines, or our edges of our shapes, are going to recede or go back to that one point. So grab your ruler, find the edge of your first shape, and draw a line that connects the two. It's kind of like connecting the dots. Whoop. Now I'm gonna find the edges for my next shape. Hey Haribo, get out of there. And as you can see, I'm going pretty fast, but you're gonna to wanna to really take your time during this process. So see how I'm finding the edges of my shapes or the corners of my shapes? And as I draw these lines or connect these dots, my shapes will start to appear, Bo, get out of there. They will start to appear like they're three dimensional. Not every shape is gonna have a line because as you see, some of those shapes go um, behind each other. And now I wanna start coloring my shapes in. It looks kind of spacey if you make a gradient, which is where you have a dark color that goes all the way up to a light color. I'm adding some pattern on top of my shapes. And you may use anything to color in that you have available to you. You could use markers, colored pencils. It might be difficult to use oil pastels or um, chalk pastels on this one, but feel free to get as creative as you'd like with your color. 